Let's build a skateboard And the moment that everyone has been waiting for is... Spaces!
<laughs> I was doing a quick test and, and it seems that there is not enough gap between this cylinder in here and, and the housing and I melted the two together. So I will remove this to see if I can fix it because I don't want to reprint it. I don't want, no. Notice a few changes from the last version and I went from chains to belts I found a supplier of this HTDM5 belts and I'm I'm liking them and I'm also adding this rubber band in here just in case I find a, a slope or something just to force uh, this thing to be flat on the ground if it tries to lift on acceleration or lift from the back on braking the rubber band will try to fight it and bring it back to place. Not bad. There is also in here a cover for the electronics and the battery and all. I have thought of it. This entire plate in here is removable because I'm already doing prototypes on my fantastic CNC machine and I'm doing them on aluminium to dissipate the heat from the motor but for quick and fast prototypes I'm using PLA. I hope it doesn't melt until I finish testing. For a quick ad from Blinkist, who are sponsors of today's video. Do you lack the time to sit down and read? No time for learning new things to self-improve? Would you like to take advantage of the wasted time commuting or doing repetitive tasks? There is an app that can help you do just that and it is called Blinkist. With 12 million active users, it has the best insights from more than 3,000 non-fiction books and condenses them into just 15 minutes. I just finished listening to How To from Randall Munro and it really helps me find new ways of looking at problems and I listen to it just there while building stuff. You can choose to read or listen to them and even access the titles while offline. Blinkist have recently introduced full-length audiobooks. If you want to dive deeper, premium subscribers get special member pricing up to 65% of the regular retail price. The first 100 people to go to www.blinkist.com slash Ivan will get unlimited access for one week to try it out and you will also get 25% off if you want the full membership. The seven day trial is completely free and you can cancel at any time during that period. So please help this channel by clicking the link on the description and now, let's keep building! And the tracks of the old design are still valid. Uh, I didn't change that. And this in here is a tensioning mechanism that allows me to more or less slide this wheel back and forth to tension a bit to remove the slack of the thread. I obviously need another one like this in the back 
and I was planning on joining the two wheels with, with uh, this rectangular tube still. And well, this, this kind of are too far apart. And I was planning on putting a board in the middle. Uh, but this is too wide. So I, I said to myself, okay, I need the clearance near the wheels to make room for the treads and the motors to not hit anything. But in the middle, it could be narrower. So I said, okay, I will attach these two here like this and then make a couple of bends in it to make it narrower in the middle. And then I asked to myself, how can I bend some steel bars? A few holders for steel rods for my vise and I will use my vise as a press to bend the steel. And I made a test with this square tube in here. It worked great. And then I said, well, this is just a change in shape, so the same vise will be able to bend this one. But this has a 1.5 millimeter wall and this has a two millimeter wall. So this happened. I destroyed my small, well, not, it, it's a hundred millimeter vise. It's not that small, but I, I bent it. Luckily, I went and bought a much bigger one and made a test, as many of you may have seen on my Instagram, and it worked. So I will now bend and reel some tubes to make the chassis for the tank skateboard. It's a maker workout. A maker cow. Maker cow. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> both wheels complete but printing links takes forever so I will continue with the chassis while I keep printing links and see how it goes. build video. I'm not going to bring this outside in this video, it's on the title, but I cannot leave you like that and I really want to test it. So I've installed a battery just on the fr front, it's symmetrical, <laughs> I don't know which wheel it is, and I will see if it drives. Wish me luck. It 
can hold my weight. Okay. <laughs> go, go back. Go. With only one traction wheel, I can synchronize both wheels and give it like most, lots of more power and speed. I didn't want to die today. So it seems to work. The next time that you see this thing will be on a field test because I think it deserves it. <laughs> it's really cool. It's really useful to have a huge printer. All the side plates of both wheels have been done in one part instead of two, like the old version. So really nice. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check the links on the description. Thanks a lot to all my patrons for sponsoring these videos. This madness is because of you. Thank you. And now please go and make something! Oh.